Hi there folks, thanks for clicking onto my video today. This is Cooking with Sasha China and today we're gonna do homemade Mexican tacos and fajitas. So um, the first thing I'm gonna say that's on the chopping board today, obviously I've got the packaged tortillas over there. We got some salt, chili powder, black pepper, some tomatoes and obviously the mints at the back. We got some romaine lettuce some taco shells. I know my ethos is everything, make everything homemade, but the taco shells and the tortilla wraps, you know, they're so readily available in our super stores today, so I bought them in. And also I've got some chopped onion and garlic in a ramekin there. I got my homemade taco seasoning in there, which I will tell you what is actually in there afterwards. I've got some lemon, coriander, and um, some shop bought refried beans. Now I can do them but like I say today it's going to be half homemade, half not homemade. Okay all right let's get cooking. Okay so for those of you wondering what I put in my taco seasoning I put in some chili powder, cumin, garlic, onion powder, dried oregano, paprika, salt and some ground coriander and some black pepper. So I ground it all up in my pestle and mortar as I did and that's the seasoning. Now I know that you can um, get the packet seasonings but I find that sometimes if you make your own you can make heaps of it and then put it into storage and then you can use it whenever you want. As long as it's in an airtight container you're good to go. Alrighty. Okay the first thing you're going to want to do once you've washed your vegetables is chop them up and put them into your serving tray. Okay, so once you've chopped up your lettuce and tomatoes, you put them in your serving dish. I like to serve my Mexican dinners always in this. So here we've got the tomatoes and the lettuce over there. Now in the, pre in the previous video I did, I showed you how I made my homemade salsa. Now I like my salsa chunky, whereas my boyfriend likes it uh, blended up. So I did two batches, one chunky, one blended, and obviously the blended one there is in the middle. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our meat and our taco seasoning and cook that off. Alrighty. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my pan nice and hot and then I'm gonna add in the chopped onions and garlic. Okay, onions and garlic in. So I've just added a bit of water. I'm gonna try avoid using oil in this one because it gets quite greasy. Okay, the meat's in. We're gonna let that cook down now and then we'll add in the seasoning. Okay, so the meat has browned nicely and as you can probably tell, there's no liquid in there whatsoever with I mean, there's a little bit but because I've just drained off the meat I always find that when you're doing mince you should always try and uh, there we go you can probably see it better now you should always drain it off because if you don't then it can get really really nasty for you and obviously with all the saturated fats okay so now we're gonna add in the seasoning seasoning in we're now gonna give that a nice good stir obviously I can't do it while I'm holding the phone Okay, with the seasoning mixed into the taco mix, I'm now going to add in just a tad bit of water. And I'm now going to let that cook off. So it will be a really, I don't know what is going on with my phone today. There we go. Alright, we're going to now let it cook off. Oh, I need to drop my phone. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna get the refried beans on. Obviously, like I said before, these were shop bought. I can make my own, but I just thought this time around we'll do them shop bought style. So, um, put some cling film on, pop some holes in, and pop it in the microwave. Okay, so the meat's cooking off well. I've just added in some coriander as well, just to help it along, and I also squeeze in some lime. Okay, the meat's cooked, now it's ready to plate up. Okay, so this is everything. So this is my homemade Mexican dinner. So starting from the left, we've got our tortillas uh, for our fajita wraps and our taco shells. Also in the top left corner is my homemade guacamole. I have got a video on my channel on f how I made that. 
got my refried beans, my blended up salsa in the middle, tomatoes at the front, lettuce, and then I've got my homemade chunky salsa at the top right, and then to the right hand side, the meat, with obviously the homemade taco seasoning in there as well. All right guys, well this is our dinner, it's ready to go, so thanks for clicking onto my video today. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, please feel free to leave any comments down below. This was Cooking with Sasha China, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.